Meteors are small particles of matter in the solar system that are only directly observable when they fall into Earth's atmosphere. A meteorite is a meteor that reaches the surface of the Earth without being vaporized. Meteorites are particularly valuable geologic specimens because they represent samples of planetary bodies, mostly asteroids, which have not yet been obtained through either manned or unmanned space missions. Neither is it likely that samples of these bodies will be available by any other means than fortuitous falls for at least a generation. Thus, as a scientific resource, meteorites provide us with some of our first glimpses of the diverse array of planetary material scattered throughout the inner solar system. The oldest meteorite specimens are remnants of the very first geologic processes to occur in our solar system 4.6 billion years ago. The origin of the solar system should not be confused with the origin of the universe commonly known as the Big Bang which occurred at least 9 billion years ago and possibly as long ago as 20 billion years. Our solar system formed when a cloud of interstellar dust and gas collapsed. Because the interstellar cloud had been slowly spinning, the result was a nearly flat rotating disk, which we refer to as the solar nebula. Much of the dust and gas in the disk moved to the center of the nebula, where it fed a growing protostar, which eventually became our sun. The dust and gas remaining in the nebula was incorporated into primary planetary material. Initially, nebular dust stuck together, or accredited, to form small, loosely bound dust balls. In some regions of the solar nebula, these dust balls encountered violent, high temperature events and were melted, forming molten silicate and metal droplets like lava. Henry Clifton Sorby, a geologist of the 1800s, and one of the first to examine these droplets with a microscope, described them as having once looked like fiery rain. Because the high temperature events were brief, the molten droplets cooled quickly in the nebula and formed millimeter-sized spheres of rock called chondrules. Meteorites containing these objects are called chondrites. Sometimes the temperatures rose so high in the solar nebula that dust began to evaporate, leaving behind refractory residues. At other times, the temperatures became so low that new dust condensed from the nebular gas, kind of like snow from the air. Over time, chondrules, evaporative residues, and condensates collided with each other and accredited to form nebular sediments, and eventually larger bodies called planetesimals a few to several tens of kilometers in diameter. Our most primitive meteorite specimens are samples of these complex yet primitive mixtures of nebular preplanetary material. In many cases, these meteorites are so primitive they contain traces of in interstellar dust which survived thermal processing in the solar nebula. These small planetary bodies from which primitive meteorites come form throughout a large portion of the inner solar system. Within these vast distances, material was apparently distributed unevenly and affected by different amounts of thermal processing. Thus, meteoric parent bodies produced in different regions of the solar nebula had slightly different chemical and structural properties. The three principal groups of primitive chondrites representing these variations are the carbonaceous chondrites, and statite chondrites, and unequilibrated ordinary chondrites.